Okay, so <clears throat> good to uh, everybody. Uh, my name is Captain Matanyano Rodrigo Reyes, and I'll be explaining my thesis entitled Autopilot Just and Manual Handling on Pilot Safety Performance. Let's quick introduction of my study. So, it is uh, accurate to say that the plate travel is among the safe modes of transportation. However, when it aviation accidents do happen, the results are often catastrophic. Compared to other major forms of transportation, with 0.04 deaths per 100 million miles traveled, train travel is much more dangerous than airplanes, which has 0.01 deaths per 100 million miles. However, air travel is only as safe as the operator, the equipment to the training procedures that underlie the flight itself. Without stringent aviation safety training and controls, air travel is safe, is unsafe for passengers and commercial passengers. In 2007, the National Transportation Safety Board estimates a total of nearly 24 million hour flight hours. Of these 24 million hours, you have 6.84 of every 100 thousand flight hours so that's a whooping number of six four six hundred eighty six thousand eight hundred forty crashes in every one hundred thousand flight hours and in one nineteen every hundred thousand yielded a fatal crash so that's a total of one hundred uh, one thousand one hundred ninety thousand so this is the chart as you can see in a 1985 uh, it has a crash uh, um, below 4,000 and uh, when it reached 2019 it plunges very bit down below so this is the um, more detailed numerical um, example so here in the 1982 the number of crashes 3593 and when it got 2019 it got down tripled with a number of 640 crashes only on 2019 one of the reasons that it got it got so low is due to one of the reasons the autopilot and auto trust so one of there's aircraft that has auto trust and some doesn't have just like the ATR so it can be used in many international commercial flights as flight duration grew longer due to technological breakthrough so <clears throat> as according to crotch and the pape no motor learning theory uh, since focusing the notion of the ability are developed through great deal of repetition and applic application to various tasks just like the automation since our pilots use mostly autopilot or auto trust their manual handlings becomes degraded so then the NTSB database which has record of every reportable accident since 2008 shows over 13,000 accidents with at least one issue pertaining to personnel. So this personnel is caused by the human error. So materials and method that is used in this study. So it uses quantitative research, qualitative survey, and descriptive design. So the flow, we have the respondents, demographic profile, survey questionnaire, we use the frequency distribution, Weighted mean man weight mean and cross calculus. Then we use the auto uh, we have a combination which is the additional proficiency training and proficiency check for safety performance of the pilot on the revenue flights. So participants of the study, pilot airlines and non pilot airlines, we located numbers at Rato. Data gathering instrument, Google Forms, because some pilots are out of town or out of country and some, even though they are here in the Philippines, they are still very far. Survey design, we have four point language skill, as you can see in the image below. Statistical treatment of data, we have frequency distribution, weighted mean, taman with neo test, and the cross Wallis age test. So the results, first is the age. So age 20 to 35 was a high frequency in the study current status of connection airline pilot is a high frequency in the study airline status non-airline pilot has a frequency of 10 while in the airline 
uh, pilots, Philippine Airlines, and Cebu Pacific kasi higher frequency in this study. So, number of rated aircraft, 1 to 3, the higher frequency in this study. The frequency of usage between autopilot trust and manual handling. So, autopilot or auto trust is more used or usually used with verbal interpretation, usually, in all phases of life. While the manual handling is uh, used sometimes in all phases of life, like takeoff, climb, cruise, landing, and approach. Level of performance of autopilot, trust, and pilot in relation to pilot skills. We have application, procedure, communication, problem solving, and decision making. Situational awareness, workload management has a verbal interpretation of exemplary. So, the um, level of performance in relation to pilot skills when group according to profile. So, the age and current status of connection is used statistical treatment man with you. While the airlines connected, current total flying hours, and the number of rated aircraft, we use it statistical treatment of Cruz Calwalis age. So, the decision of the uh, profile based on the level of performance is acceptable but the conclusion is that it is not significant so meaning that the profile is not significant in terms of their level of performance in the autopilot trust to the pilot skills next is we have the competency of pilot flying an aircraft with autopilot trust using manual flying and raw data so <clears throat> Uh, extreme weather conditions, abnormal situations, single multiple failures, unfamiliar and crowded airspace has a verbal interpretation of, ab of above average. So conclusion, so the pilot range from 20 to 35 years old constitute the biggest number of the survey participants. But it indicates that the majority of the pilots in the airline air organization constituted a group of young adults at their prime working age 20 to 25 to 50 years. An almost equal representation of the participants from both from airline and non-airline pilots. Indicated majority of the airline in the airline organization constitute that the Philippines has an average of 1,000 to 2,000 hours or above. The participating pilots has a number of rated aircraft with autopilot trust of 1 to 3 number of rated aircraft installed with autopilot trust the pilot participate uh, participants uses autopilot trust usually in all phases of flight while manual flying is sometimes used in all phases of flight this indicate that majority of almost uh, all of the babies in the field uses autopilot trust most on the flight in all phases of aeronautical operations both non and both airline and non-airline pilots perform exemplary in all pilot skills such as application procedure, communication, problem solving, and decision making, situational awareness, and lastly, we have the workload management. There is no significant difference on the level of performance of autopilot trust to pilot skills in terms of pilot age, current status of connection, airline connected, current total flying hours, and number of rated aircrafts. And lastly, we have the pilots are all above average in terms of competency of flying an aircraft without autopilot, just using the manual flying and draw data. Recommendations. So first, the company, uh, any company or the company should require the pilot to undergo proficiency training and proficiency check every six calendar months instead of 12 calendar months according to PICAR part two. Then airline companies in the Philippines should progress, adopt, and carry on the contents and lessons method in the proficiency training specific for company policy. The, co the pilots are encouraged to use autopilot or to trust in all phases of flight than manual flying with or without raw data. This maintains the accident rate of 3.04 since 2015 that will reduce the workload of the pilot, thus reduces fatigue, and makes the aircraft fly smoothly. And lastly, the pilot training, and the proficiency training, and the proficiency check every six calendar months should be adopted 
almost on any flight revenue operations that carries either passengers or cargo. So, uh, my proposed program for the proficiency training, uh, just a glimpse. So, uh, discussion, classroom, classroom discussion, and full flight. But you can check the full view of my proposed program on my thesis or my uh, research. And uh, here is my draft house bill. So, my references for the study and acknowledgement. So, this research would not be possible without the tremendous self support and encouragement of many wonderful people. So, I want to thank my advisor, Mr. Uh, Dr. Leal Lanete, to Dr. Santiago Medina, Dr. Yago, Dr. Kalayag, and Dr. Busoto as a panelist. To the 20 pilots, uh, 20 airline pilots and non airline pilots for their um, valuable information and analysis of the study. I would also thank the end and my validators to our prestigious Airline International Aviation College or AL and colleagues, also my workmates. Then, thanks to my family for the undying support. My girlfriend, Lisa May Kayanan, to the Great Attitude and to the CAA Philippines, different captains there, to my Airbus 2020 partner and housemate, which is Captain Ben Sontad, to my best friend, and above all, he expressed gratitude and praise to God, from whom he drew wisdom and power. So that's it and that's all summarize my study. If you have any questions, clarifications about my thesis or my research, please do ask and I'll be very happy to answer your questions. If, if not, then thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you.